seated. Give it order. Thank you for the It is a joy to be able to share this moment with you, and it is a very special moment because the two of you are wanting and desiring to commit your lives to one another. It is also in this moment that the two of you present to one another a very special gift. And that gift, of course, is the gift of yourselves. There is no greater gift that one can give, no greater gift that one can receive than that. The two of you have already made a decision, and you have chosen one another as life companions. And what a wonderful and beautiful thing that is. And that is the commitment we celebrate in this ceremony here. So with that, now I'm going to ask you to take a pass off your bouquet. The two of you will turn and face one another and join your hands together. <laughs> and join your hands together. Okay. And I'm going to ask you now these questions as you pledge your lives to one another. First of all, to be honored, you take faithful to be your wife, to share your life openly with her, to speak the truth to her in love, to honor and tenderly care for her, and to cherish and encourage her to be all that she can be through all the changes of your lives? Yes, I do. <laughs> to, 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 your husband. to share your life openly with him, to speak the truth to him in love, to honor and tenderly care for him, and to cherish and encourage him to be all that he can be through all of the changes of your lives. If you will now share the words that you have prepared for him. Your rings, they will be the most subtle of all weights on the third left finger, barely even felt until consciously remembered. And then there it is, the slightest touch of smooth metal upon skin, a soft yet persistent reminder that life is forever different. A decision has been made, a corner has been turned, vows have been shared before the listening ears of family and friends. Two lives irrevocably linked together, flesh to flesh, heart to heart, and soul to soul. And with very simple eloquence, the ring says, I am wed. I have a life companion who belong to someone else. The deepest reservoirs of my love, my heart, my affection now belong to a dear person who means more to me than life itself. And that's your key word. You'll take the papers, right? Place it upon <coughs> And repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. That's a symbol. A symbol of my love and commitment.
particular ones from Christ upon this one. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and commitment. And commitment. This moment is now one that the two of you are going to remember really as your first memory together. Joint hands. As husband and wife. And I want to encourage the two of you to build upon this moment. And in fact, to go and to make as many memories together as you possibly can. As you live the life together that you want to lead, as you make and build a marriage together that you want to have and enjoy with one another. Marriage is a commitment. A commitment to life and to the best that two people can find and bring out in one another. Marriage is a promise, and it's a potential that is made in the hearts of two people who love. But really, it takes a lifetime to fulfill. So tonight, tonight is a beginning. It is a beginning of the rest of your lives together. To see the promise, to see the potential of your marriage fulfilled together. And now, based upon your willingness, sender, intent, to enter married life together, after having exchanged these vows and these rings as symbols of your love and of your commitment, it is my pleasure and my honor, by the power vested in me, by the laws of this state, and the civil church of the West, we now pronounce you husband and wife. She may kiss your wife. <laughs>
Thank you.